y'all not about to challenge this and y'all already look beat up. This, you already look beat up, gang. I hope they're not challenging me. Y'all look like y'all been through the f***ing works. You should not be worrying about this right now. We got King Bradley, Wrath of the Black Forces. Shout out to boy CJ. I saw he was number one on trending. Love that for you, my boy. Keep doing great fucking things. You know what I'm saying? But we first to get into this. I don't know who King Bradley is, but we're about to for sure find out. Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time to return to the ring. Hey, 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 hey! Um, yes. Hey, um, listen, kid. Uh, how do I explain this? Uh, nah, this C chain is crazy. <laughs> um, yes. Hey, um, listen, kid. Uh, how do I explain this? Uh, your round table, Black Air Force, Hall, Senate, whatever the hell it is. Uh, yeah, that's not ready yet. Um, excuse me. I have a trial to do today. Well, uh, the thing is, we didn't expect you to come back that fast. Because if we look at your track record back in 2022, it looked like you only uploaded like <laughs> once a month. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was in college writing too bad. It's not ready. So what does that mean? <laughs> Simple, kid. You're homeless. <laughs> Man, this is some old bush. Hey, that be a video. Can I get a yeah? High-waving hand, hand medium dark street, skin tones. Exhibit A. Read, nigga. Read. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I now present to you Exhibit A. Deceiving an entire country. So in the beginning, when you see Bradley, you look at him and you're like, oh, I mean, nothing seems that bad about him. I mean, look at him. He looks like a nice, old, caring man and a great leader for his country. But <laughs> little did we know that behind this smile, behind this mask, there was a whole different dog in there. I mean, you could start to see the glimpses of it in the first episode. You had the freezing alchemist talking about, y'all boys don't know a damn thing about this country, do you? That so-called king, Fuhrer, whoever the hell you be following, that motherfucker is not who you think he is, I'll tell you that. And later on, when this man is on his last leg running away, he finds Bradley in a dark alley. Damn. Bradley looking at him like, yeah. I'm about to Thomas and Martha Wayne yo ass in this dark alley, boy. And you can see the fear in this man's face. Excuse me? You about to do what? That that was unnecessary. It was un 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 it was just it was just unnecessary. God damn, Batman. Martha Wayne yo ass in this dark alley, boy. And you can see the fear in this man's face. He is laughing hysterically because he knows his ass is about to die. So he starts running at him and Bradley's just looking at him like, <laughs> trash ass nigga, <laughs> what you running at me for? We and Preston. Damn. <laughs> he broke his face kills me bro the fact that bro watched this man just by unsheathing his sword is just crazy then after this look at the 180 personality turn ah the illig brothers hey how y'all doing are y'all okay don't worry the situation has been handled i just gave him a little bit of southern hospitality now run along y'all so i can go tell this story to my son <laughs> yeah that so-called son of yours that absolute abomination of a child <clears throat> but uh anyways but ladies and gentlemen let's take a little look at this flashback of bradley not giving a damn so when ed was having his alchemist examination bro tried to pull a fast one to impress you know what i actually tried to watch full metal alchemist and i just couldn't i watched when the brother got put in the suit and then i watched another episode something about the dad or some shit like that and then i just couldn't get into it i think i don't know if i watched brotherhood i think i watched probably there was a season before that, wasn't it? Or like a thing before that? Because it was a old, it was an older, older one. Like a while back. I just couldn't get into it. Bradley and he's like, yeah, you know, you should really rethink these examinations because <laughs> this would be an easy time to kill you, my boy. So Bradley said, wow, not bad, not bad at all, kid. But uh, <laughs> watch your jet, little nigga. Huh? Mm. Hey, hey, my boy, I got high hopes for you, though. 
Oh, hell no. When did this old bastard take out his sword? But no, <laughs> what's even crazier? All right, before I even get into this segment, though, RIP my boy Hughes, you know, <laughs> he was a real nigga. And also, f that nigga Envy. All my homies hate Envy. I will personally go to his funeral and take a fat stinking dookie on that man's <laughs> casket, bro. But you see, they're having the funeral for Hughes, right? So they see this man Bradley shaking over here. So you gotta be thinking when you first watching this, oh, I mean, he's just shaking because you know his comrade just died. No, this man is shaking in pure rage because Hughes's daughter is crying at her dad's funeral. Oh my God. Nigga, huh? Ah, fuck, Grum. How you gonna get mad at, she's a baby. What the fuck? Nah, that nigga tripping. I ain't gonna lie, that nigga tripping. You mad at the nigga daughter for crying? Cause she lost her dad? Huh? Over a, he hate kids for real? I, I can see that. Nigga said, fuck them kids. What you, cuh? Dog is like, <sighs> Bro, I've never seen a man get mad at somebody for crying at their family member's funeral. But we finally get to see how ruthless this man is when he goes to hunt down greed. So bro pulls up in the sewer and says, well, 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 what the hell do we have going on down here? Looks like a fuck fist of illegal activity in my country's sewers. Now I'm gonna need to see some IDs. <laughs> IDs, why should I have to comply? Because motherfucker, I am the law. And when I see illegal activity in my country and they do not comply with my law, then I will have to use force and open a can of whoop ass on your dumb ass. So this man Greed keep on talking, but Bradley cuts off this man's hand. And he's like, I told you, if you don't comply, I'll have to use force. Now bring your ass over here and stop Damn. resisting. And Bradley started peeing nah. off on bro. Nah, so this nigga can't stab spoke. this man in the neck. And he's like, yeah, you like that boy? I told you to stop resisting. So then Greed looks at Bradley's eye. He ends up realizing, oh my God, this old ass nigga's crying. Yeah. You know who I am now, don't you, boy? Now you see, Greed, do you wanna know what you are? All you are is a lazy, lousy, greedy piece of gorilla shit. Damn! Now then, you absolute waste of oxygen. How many times do I have to kill you to make you stop resisting? So then later on, Alphonse ends up seeing Greed walking like a dead man, and he just falls with a sword in his neck. Oh and Bradley's God. like, and that makes 15. God damn, you're a tough cookie, aren't you, boy? This man has killed Greed 15 times. That is so then these other absurd. Chimera end up pulling up, and Bradley's looking at him like, what the hell are they oh, doing? I right. hope they're not challenging me. God what damn, you finna do? criminal pieces of shit. Wait. <laughs> I know y'all not about to challenge this nigga, and y'all already look beat up. This, you already look beat up, gang. I hope they're not challenging me. God damn. Y'all look like y'all been through the fucking works. You should not be worrying about this nigga right now. Please. Fought a criminal pieces of shit. I don't even know their goddamn name. So they start running out, but Bradley just made light just quick work. I don't even know their goddamn name. So they start running out, but Bradley. Off the rip. <laughs> Bruh, get the fuck. Bro, you knew your ass was already beat up, bro. You see, he fucked your homie up. You should just mind your damn business. In half. In half. In half, bro. Come on, bro. Be, be for real. Be fucking for real. He just made light, just quick work of him. Bro, cut his big ass in the cheese cubes. So then Grease start talking again like, <laughs> so looks like you made light work of my fodder friends. Well, I have you know they meant nothing to me, killing my possessions like that. Who do you think you are? Greed, you pathetic scum. I told you to stop resisting. <laughs> what is I'm sorry, but this nigga killed you 15 times. This nigga killed you 15 times, gang. And then you come back talking shit again? Like, do you not learn? Is it just me? Hey, bro. It's blitzing him, beating the dog water out of this man. Then he's like, now you stay put there. I'll be right back. 
So then he walks over to Alf, looks at him and says, now Alphonse, what the hell are you doing down here dealing with these criminals? It looks like you need some help. Something's jumbled up inside of you. You got like a bad shawty sitting in there or something? So Al had the other girl, Martel, sitting in his suit. So she takes over his suit and starts choking Bradley. And Dog's just looking at her like, oh my God. <laughs> well, ain't you a stupid bitch? So he snuffs the sword and kills him now, bro. That sucks. It sucks to suck for real. This man is a demon. So then some minutes later, Al ends up waking up. And he starts crying because he couldn't save her. So then Bradley walks over and he's like, Now, now, boys, before y'all go, I got some questions for you. Number one, what the hell were you doing down here with these criminals? Number two, did you do any illegal activities with these criminals? And number three, did you trade any government classified material with these criminals? Because if you did, then I'll execute your two SOBs right now. Nope. Hold on. Cut for three. Did you trade any government classified material with these criminals? Because if you did, then I'll execute your two SOBs right now. Nope, 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 nope. Well, swear to God, we did not do anything. <laughs> well, aren't y'all some two good, nice little boys? All right, and now y'all have a good day. Be careful going home now. <laughs> No, the personality swap is crazy. So then after this, some time passes. He literally watches Lust die. Bro, standing behind the corner like, hmm, should I go in there and help her? Or should I keep my cover? I mean, I don't want to blow my cover that I'm a whole ass humunculus yet. I mean, her cooch is not even really all that. Nah, I'm just going to go ahead and leave. That well, is then later crazy. on after this, they end up trying to go hunt down Scar. But Bradley's in this alley and he's like, Gluttony, come on and bring your fat ass out here. <laughs> yes, sir. Are we going to be able to eat them as a snack? So then Ron Fawn and Ling end up intervening. But then here come Bradley. Well, what the hell do we got here? Looks like some foreign invaders in my country. I'm gonna need to see your visas and your passports. But you know what? Never mind. F that. I'll just deport you in a body bag. Damn. So, bro, this is Lodfon, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. hit the dash from zero to a hundred. Then he's looking at Ling like, now, 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 where the hell you think you going? Now, the only way you leaving my country is in a body bag. So he starts swinging and he used gluttony to hit him Damn. over to the other building. So then he goes over to him and starts saying, now listen here, I need you to stop resisting because I have some questions for you. Question number one, who the f are you? Number two, why are you here? And number three, weren't you in one of my goddamn jail cells like four episodes ago? Well, I mean, uh, your security is kind of ass, so I mean, I broke out kind of easily. Well, aren't you a cocky some bitch? Throwing flashbang. Ah, you Bring your ass back here. But then Bradley throws a sword at him. Then he says, hmm, looks like your flashbang worked on my other eye, but this one, <laughs> well, you see, I got tack mask on this one. Now, Damn. then, or I need you to stop resisting. So please comply. Then you can die. But they ended up having a grenade, so they ended up escaping Bradley. And he's like, well, shucks, aren't they some clever bastards? So he keeps on tracking them down forever. And the only way they were able to escape him was for Lon Fong to cut off her arm and strap it to a dog. So it would throw the scent off of her track. And he's just looking in disgust like. Cut off her arm? What are we talking? Hello? Golly. Damn, the extreme? It will throw the scent off of her track. And he's just looking in disgust like, hmm, well, ain't this some shit, little crafty bastards. Exhibit, Exhibit A. A. Exhibit, Exhibit B. B. Alright now, so look, before we get into Exhibit C, which is probably some of the most unadulterated, insane shit you will ever see in your life, we have to get through Exhibit B, which is this man's origins and him literally committing Order 66. So huh? this man Bradley is was raised in a lab with a bunch of other little niggas for the sole purpose to become the Fuhrer. So they basically had these little niggas trapped up in the Red Room on oh some Black God. Widow sh training day and night hey, Elijah, these thank you for the gift. ass doctors. Look at Dog, bro, just stabbed him in the over his shoulder like, oh, he is very nice. Don't worry. He's just a bitch nigga here to help you with your goals. But obviously, the true purpose of all this was for father to put a philosopher's stone in somebody, make him the humunculus of wrath and rule 
rule the entire country. So a bunch of people died during the process because they couldn't withstand his power. But Bradley survived getting shot up with this damn Captain America super soldier serum, and this man became Captain Amestris. Nah, nasty. Well, no, he just became Wrath in the Fury. So during the Ishvalan War, caused by this absolute crack baby, this yeah. man Bradley issues Order 3066. Now what you may that? be wondering, oh, what does that mean? Well, look at the last two numbers. This man executed Order 66. <laughs> so he had state alchemists, including crazy ass bastards like Kimberly, this absolute psychopath, to basically exterminate the Ishbalan people. So after they were just completely slaughtered, their high priest ends up surrendering to Bradley. So he wants Bradley to kill him so he could stop slaughtering his people. But then this man Bradley said, well, ain't that some pathetic shit? Do you really think your single life is important as these other niggas? Now you listen here, buckaroo. I couldn't give a damn about you or your people. So do yourself a favor and f off. That is actually Ugh, absurd. Fuck you. You shall be struck down by the hammer of God. <laughs> God, hey, hey, y'all hearing this shit right now? That's <laughs> actually absurd. He gonna strike me now. Hey, why ain't he done it yet? Oh, oh, wait, exactly. Cause he's a bunch of baloney. Damn. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. That's right, I said it. <laughs> Do what you say of your rat bastard pusses. Yeah, uh, this man Bradley has committed some absolute nah, atrocities. This, this man they is were actually... literally killing these people to make philosopher stones. So now we go back to the present day. So the government starts moving forward with their plan. Bradley basically got this man Mustang under a hostage situation. Dude disbanded his entire company, then started telling him, you know, I really can't stand you damn humans. Y'all really do piss me off. Oh, and also that thick shawty Risa, she's my personal assistant now. So I could keep a close eye on her, if you know what I mean, Mustang. Then later that day, he calls Ed and Allen there and starts saying, Now listen here, you two little uppity ass boys. Y'all little rambunctious fatherless and motherless children have been pissing me off since day one. Damn. That's why your mama dead and your daddy went to go get milk and never came back. So oh my God. This nigga said motherless and fatherless. Yo, yo, nah, this is, yo, nah, that's crazy. So y'all are perfect candidates for the sacrifice. You no, know, fuck this. How about I just quit? Now you see, I can't allow you to do that, boy. <laughs> well, I just did. What's that shawty you like again? Uh, Winry. Yeah, yeah, her. I'll fucking kill that bitch. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Now that's what I thought. <laughs> Now run along, boys. Oh, but Alphonse, just one second. <laughs> My bad, I thought you was hiding somebody in there again. You're dismissed. And now nah, what's... Bruh, homie really just put a... a, a th Bro, he was willing Crazy. to kill anybody in that goddamn suit. May was hiding in his suit the whole time. So then one night, Greed and Link's body runs up on Bradley and commits home invasion because he's having PTSD when Bradley came and spun his whole block. So Bradley's like, wait, what the fuck are you doing, Greed? Running up on my goddamn property. Boy, I'll beat your ass. So Bradley started beating this man, throwing him around and everything. And he was, up he was weaving them shits. Hold on, though. Cause he was he was weaving them bitch. You he said Ugh. he's like, wait, what the fuck are you doing, yeah, Green? You running up on my goddamn property, boy! I'll beat your we, ass. We, we, so we, Bradley we. started yeah. beating this man, throwing him around and everything. And he was about to kill him. A Green used that army man hockey, and he was like, Nah, G, this ain't it. Hey, ho, huh, where the hell you think you going? You just gonna spin my block and leave? Well, ain't you pussy? So nah, then after this, Bradley went away to a training exercise. So he's on the way back coming on the Polar Express. But Roy's rebellion set him up and caught this man lacking and they ended up oh. blowing up the tracks. Seemingly killing this man. <laughs> Seemingly. Wait, that's the thing though. You blew up that train. There was other people. You wanted to kill one person, so you blew up the whole train, took the bridge out, and crazy collateral. And then as he said seemingly, so he really didn't even kill the nigga for real. He didn't even kill the nigga, so you kill all them people for no reason. You ain't even killed a nigga you were supposed to kill. That is crazy. It was worth the sacrifice. You niggas are menaces. Exhibit B. Exhibit C. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, 
I now present to you Exhibit C, yeah, Wrath yeah. of the Black Forces. Right, so the rebellion me. to stop father's plan looks like it was a success. The Fort Briggs men fully take over Central, and it looks like they finally won. Well, uh, until somebody came back. Is anybody on this line? Hello? Oh shit. Olivier, is that your <laughs> fine ass on the end of this line? But anyways, <laughs> let me get serious. Greetings, I'm back. And it looks like she has spawned out of control since I've been gone. As, as of now, I, King motherfucking Bradley, will be personally taking control of this entire fucking operation. Cause it looks like you all can't do that shit without me, can you? I'm gone for one fucking day and they take over my goddamn house. My oh, shit. Goddamn property. Goddamn rebel scum. I'll show you. Ugh. Where's he coming from? <laughs> He's coming through the front door. <laughs> Hang up the damn phone. Salute thy nigga, King o Bradley. <laughs> rebel criminals on my property. Bag your ass up. <gasps> yes, sir. All this damage control. I hope these rebels have insurance. Cause they gon' need it. So this man Bradley is about to storm his own castle. Look at dog rolling up his sleeves. So then he's like, did these rebel scum really think I would just walk in the back door of my own goddamn house? I think I'll walk through the front. Thank you very much. So bro hit the dash and he is deflecting bullets. Oh hell no. Nah. Nigga is deflecting machine gun bullets with a sword. Yeah, it's over. I'm running. Hey, I don't give a fuck what alliance we had. I'm done. I'm out of here. Thank you very much. So, bro, hit the dash and he is deflecting bullets. Oh, hell nah. Don't cut the tank shell in half. Huh? Huh? What is... Okay. All right. For sure. For sure. I don't, I don't even know no more. For sure. Hey, Psst. I'm not one to uh gossip, but I heard you wasn't following me on Twitter and Instagram and you wasn't updated when I wasn't able to post on YouTube and you thought I was gone. So follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's that simple. Enjoy the rest of the vid. And look at the collateral damage. Bro hit a triple collat on some dudes that was just minding their own business. <laughs> oh man, that's a terrible way to just go out. So the dude in the tank like, Oh, hell no, nah. I ain't signed up for this. I backed this bitch up. Hey, that would have been me. That would have been me on God. I don't give a fuck if I'm in the tank. I'm gone. He's, he's slow motion. <laughs> Jesus, we need a matter. Jesus, fuck. Hey, can you hit the motherfucker? I'm trying. I'm trying. Yeah, that's right. We got his ass. Wait a minute, what the fuck? <laughs> Leroy Jiggers. <laughs> Leroy, no, that's right, we got his ass. Wait a minute, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! What the hell are you doing, Sergeant? Take over the controls. <laughs> yes, sir. That nigga God, got his shit rocked. Golly, bro. <laughs> that nigga got his shit toasted. Oh my God. That is. Hey, man. Where did he go? Well. That's over. F me sideways. <laughs> this man Bradley just took out a tank and a came sword. out of that whole unscathed Un knot. Un and he just scathed. walking in. They are just terrified. And the thing is, these are not just regular soldiers. These are Fort Briggs men. They was hyped up to be the Ross of the Raw. And they looking like some real Bitches, bitches right now. Yo. I mean, shoot, I would be too if I just saw a man take out a tank. So then this man Buccaneer ran at him, but Bradley said, we sit your dumb ass down. And bro, still walking, no! 
then he got up, then he crashed him again. Nah, bro, this man Bradley's one of the coldest men to ever do it, bro. Bro, just nonchalantly washed a buccaneer. Dude was That's built crazy. up as a hard ass nigga too. So then he looks at old dude and says, now what's the issue? Your country's leader has returned. So open the goddamn door, Lieutenant. <laughs> I'm gonna hey, you fold. Better. I'm gonna fold. Oh, my homie's gonna call me a bitch. Oh, I'm gonna go in like a bitch. What's wrong, Lieutenant? You're gonna piss your pants or something? But then Greed ends up showing up for round three. So they start scrapping and okay. this man Bradley is playing no games, took off the eye patch and just started going crazy. So then the other dude starts shooting him, but Dog activates Ultra Infinite, no, no. washes the soldiers, then gives a stiffy to Buccaneer. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, pause. Wait a hold minute. on, let me redo that. Uh, he, he stabbed. I beg your pardon? He did what? Yo, come on, bro. Yeah, you lucky you working right now, gang. Cause I would've I would have had to ask you to explain. But I know I know you I know you 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 on, on vacation and you doing some shit. You lucky. Cause what the fuck is that? It's a what to do what now? You know what you said. 4K thousand chat. I hey man. He's a buccaneer! Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Pause. Hold on, let me redo that. Uh he he stabbed him. He stabbed him in the gut. So we're swords <laughs> in his gut. Oh my god, bro. Anyways, bro That's picks up some knives from a dead body, and bro's like, hmm, this ain't my weapon of choice, but it'll do. So then the old grandpa ninja ends up pulling up, and Bradley's just looking at him like, what the hell is old man going? You know who he reminds me of? Chat. Look at his face right now. Mustache and all. Who does he remind you of? Omni Man. Yes, Rich. He reminds me of fucking Omni Man. Am I, I'm not bugging, right? Y'all see it? That is actually that. He has his mentality. He really does. Do he think he's gonna make a difference? <laughs> what an idiot. So he starts. It's that Giga Chad face and mustache combo. These niggas are, are different. Rapping with both of them. So he catch the old man lacking and he said, hmm, looks like you're older than I am. But this is as old as you gonna get. <laughs> Damn. But then Grandpa Fu ends up getting up again and tries to blow himself up. But Bradley perfectly cut the fuses of the grenades. Oh my goodness gracious, that is bro. Actually so, yeah, well, that man was done. But Buster never paid absurd. the favor and stabbed him. So Green started running at Bradley, but Bradley was still opening the can of whoop ass on him. So they about to fall off the palace, but Lanfon saves Greed, and the soldier shot Bradley, and he lost his grip and fell down into the water. So what? after this man caused complete chaos and killed Fu and basically Buccaneer, you gotta think, oh, he's dead. He must have just drowned nah. to death. Nah, no. it don't work like that. No. This man pulls up on Mustang and is still kicking. <laughs> Holy moly, this man's durability is out of this world. The dog's like, well, what's good, Mustang? Nigga got stabbed, shot, and was supposed to drown and still got up. What do we what do you even do at that point? What do you do anymore? What do you do? Genuinely, what do you do anymore? You know, Mustang, you humans really do piss me off. I, I can't stand it when I can't predict how you act. But anyways, bring your little stupid ass over here. So Bradley pins Mustang down, and he's like, well, time to make you a sacrifice. So he ends up making Rory go through equivalent exchange, and he basically ended up making the man blind because he lost his sight. So after this, Bradley's not doing so good. He's taking too much damage, and that brother's starting to bleed out. So he's like, well, come on, then. Who wants to dance with the Fuhrer? Who wants to kill me? Come on, step up. Don't be a bitch. So then Scar ends up stepping up. So Bradley's like, oh, yes, oh, yes. You see, Sky, I've been waiting for this day. Ever since your uppity ass came running up and making a ruckus in Central. Now, you ready to join your people, nigga? Now come get this baby! Start punching me, Bradley, like, come on, you goddamn pussy! Swing! You can hit me harder than that now, can't you, pussy? So they start really, really scrapping. And this man. Damn! Yo, nah, I ain't gonna lie. Let a nigga that got shot, stabbed, and potentially drowned a little bit fade you like this is kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? I, me personally, I wouldn't even be fighting a nigga. That's just me though, cause you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even put myself in that, you know what I'm saying? Position for real. But, and right, and he's bleeding out. So he's still currently dying. Right, and he got blown up. Like, no. A nigga go through all of that and it's still kicking? You know you shouldn't have fought him in the first place, to be honest. 
Bradley is on the verge of death, but he looks like he's having the time of his life. It got to the point where this man's scar had to use alchemy. Man sees this John is taboo and had to use it. Bradley's like, hmm, well, ain't you an interesting boy? So they continue to fight, and at this point, Bradley's just talking shit. Bruh saying, where's your god at, huh? Where was he at when I killed all your people? Answer me, nigga! Look at you using alchemy. Have you abandoned your god? So Bradley gets scarred down. And he's Jesus. about to kill him, but before he does it, he says, And you think your god exists? That nigga ain't shit. But then an act of God happens. The shun signs and Scar hits Bradley. And he finally finishes that man. Jesus. But he still grabs a piece of his sword and stabs him. Jesus. What? What? How? 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 What in the? Nah, this nah, this main character energy is crazy. This nigga's main character energy is actually insane. Look. The sun signs and Scar hits Bradley, and he finally finishes that man. But he's still. He's dead, or dying on his last limb. This nigga grabs a piece of flying sword in his mouth and proceeds to still stab the nigga before he dies. Still grabs a piece of his sword and stabs him. Jesus Christ, bro. This man is a demon. Dog said, oh. if I'm going out, then I'm going out with a bang. So while Bradley is on his last breath, he's like, well, damn, I had a good life. I'll tell you that. So then Lon Fawn comes over and she says, did you even love anybody in your life? <laughs> well, I tell you, my wife had some really nice coochie. I'll tell you that. Nah, that's good. <laughs> see, look, girl, girl. <laughs> you was asking all them questions. You ain't even going to get vengeance for your grandpa because I'm about to die. <laughs> so you can suck my dick from the other side. That's it. <laughs> oh, bro. Well. I guess I'll just stay in my box till my haul is ready. You know what I'm saying? Hey, W ended to a great fucking video for my great fucking guy. W vid, man. W fucking vid. As crazy as every uh should have healing powers, he doesn't because the host rejected the Philosopher's Stone, but still, somehow he's 60. Fucking shit, that's crazy. Hey, W vid, though. That's all I'm going to say. You know what I'm saying? It's W video. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>